Hi there, fellow boaters. Johan here from eBootsMotoren.tv. We're at the Metz Trade in Amsterdam again this year, checking out the latest innovations in electric boat motors. Let's dive right into electric outboards. There are actually quite a few innovations this year in the three to five horsepower range. But later on, when we get to inboards, there might be something interesting for one or two of you. So definitely stick around until the end. We're kicking things off right away with the biggest 2026 innovation, the new ePropulsion Spirit 2. Up here, we've got the add-on battery with 1.54 kilowatt hours, and the motor now delivers a continuous output of two kilowatts and a peak output of three kilowatts. Using a simple click mechanism, you can easily remove the battery located up here. It weighs about 10 kilograms in hand, and it's really quite easy to carry around. And then we also have the motor and the bracket, which can actually be separated from each other quite easily. Just press this little button right here on the side, and then you can lift the motor off quite easily and without much effort at all. Super straightforward. The bracket can even stay on the boat, and you can just carry the motor to the boat and take it along quite easily. On the side here, we've got an adjustment for the tiller. I'll just turn it around real quick like this so you can see it a bit better. Here. And then it's all pretty much the same as on the E-Lite, just a little bit. I can lock it into place here as well. Zack, zack. And then I can just easily carry it around using this really convenient little handle here. Two kilowatts continuous, three kilowatts peak. That's two to three times more than a standard outboard with integrated battery. That means on some boats, you can actually reach planing speed and have something closer to say five horsepower. On a test boat, a light aluminum boat, we hit around 18 kilometers per hour at two kilowatts and even reached up to 22 kilometers per hour with the three kilowatts boost. Already really impressive compared to the standard Spirit One or even the Torpedo models. A key change compared to the Spirit One is the Spirit One update is also the new color display. Here you can clearly see, just like on the Spirit, the consumption, and you can also clearly see whether you're moving forward or if I switch into neutral or reverse gear. I also have built-in GPS, which means I can keep track of my current speed and, of course, exactly how much battery charge is remaining at any given moment. We're confident the Spirit 2 will make a huge splash, especially thanks to the increased power. So definitely subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Because as soon as we have the first motor in our showroom here in Berlin, we'll definitely take it for a test ride. Here you can see the Momentum U2 outboard with integrated battery in detail. Momentum also offers the M10, a 10 kilowatt motor with a separate battery unit. Here, however, we have 2.5 kilowatts of power and an integrated battery with 1.4 kilowatt hours. I can just easily take it out and snap it back in right here. We've got 48 volts and the motor is located here. Here, I can of course fold the pins up and down and the motor can be pretty easily detached from the mounting bracket itself. Just like this, a little bit. And now I've got the motor in my hand. The motor weighs about nine kilograms and the battery only eight kilograms, so really lightweight. Of course, I can also adjust the motor upwards in several trim positions. Feels like a very well-rounded product. The performance figures we've heard so far showed 2.5 kilowatts continuous power reaching up to 18 kilometers per hour on a very light inflatable boat. Here you can see the Momentum U2 in action once again. Really quite impressive indeed. I'm looking forward to our first test. Right here, we've got the next innovation, the new Torquedo Travel XS. The smaller version, 700 watts of power and around 650 watt hours battery. That means we've got a compact entry level model here. The battery is somewhat smaller, yet it's fully waterproof. In theory, I could still use the larger battery from the Travel or Travel XP with this compact motor and simply enjoy an extended range. The other features like the tiller with the nice display or the battery's plug-in mechanism are all identical, just like on the Travel XP. And the best part is, it's priced at just 1,999 euros, really affordable for everyone. Another new feature is the upgrade from the cruise models. That means we've got a slightly updated design, both visually and in the remote version, as well as the tiller version. And it's now using the very same tiller as the one found on the Torquedo Travel or Torquedo Travel XP models. With the sleek color display, now everything looks cohesive, one unified unit. Looks naturally a bit more modern and sleek compared to the previous cruise version. Brand new with the Cruise 3 are now also the 48 volts, giving you even greater flexibility and potentially lower costs when selecting batteries. We're currently on an impromptu test ride here in Amsterdam with Green Marine, a manufacturer from the Netherlands. Green Marine produces inboard drives ranging from 5 to 60 kilowatts in power. The special feature of these inboards is that most of them run on 48 volts. So even at 45 kilowatts, I can still run on 48 volts using very, very affordable battery systems. 
All right, let's run a quick little speed test here. Here we have a 22.5 kilowatt motor and the boat itself weighs about 750 kilograms with batteries and motor. Let me give it a bit of throttle. At first you hear some mechanical noises and of course the boat is highly optimized specifically for planing. We can reach up to almost 25 kilometers per hour with three people still on board. Really fast indeed. I mean, this is seriously fun to drive. Holy shit. Here we are standing by the green marine engines. We just took a test ride with this one. This is the 22.5 kilowatt motor and next to us is the 17.5 kilowatt motor and all models from this power class onward are water cooled. Generally, green marine motors deliver very high torque since the rotational speed is relatively low at 1,200 revolutions per minute. Fundamentally, you can also say the motors are very well built. We've just taken a closer look at all of this here in the production facility. And above all, they're simply a great fit for large, heavy displacement boats, but they work well for lighter boats too, as we just saw in the test run, up to 30 to 35 kilometers per hour. Like I said, there are even more powerful models available with 35, 45 and 60 kilowatts. By the way, regarding inboard engines, Vetus also has a new inboard model with 22 kilowatts continuous power. The new Vetus E-Line 22 is also well suited for boats with a weight of up to approximately 10 tons, so you can easily handle much heavier boats. We previously offered Vetus E-motors from 5 to 11 kilowatts, which were already very popular. And the new 22 kilowatt motor also runs on 48 volts. Here are a few more detailed pictures. Very compact. The 22 kilowatt Vetus definitely fits into any boat. You already know the company Temo from France, the one behind the outboard with the integrated battery. And now we've got the brand new outpod, and this one could really be interesting for quite a few sailboats. You've got a rope attached right here that you can just easily release, and in just a matter of seconds, you can pull the entire motor completely out of the water and get going with sailing. It's much, much easier than with conventional outboard motors where you'd have to completely remove them or fold the motor upwards. You can also completely remove the motor, just need to do it right here. Loosen these screws, then you can really pull it out completely. And over here on the side, you've got the cable, which just feeds neatly into the designated pass-through in the hull. Then all you need to do is unplug this cable here, plug it back in right away and boom, you're good to go. There are a few additional special features that are particularly interesting for sailboat. Right now, I can fully rotate the motor, but if I lower it all the way down, it locks in, and then I can steer using the tiller of the sailboat. And if I now rotate the motor 180 degrees, basically swing it around here, I can also lock it in. Then the propeller points exactly the opposite direction and can generate power again while driving and recuperate. By rotating it 180 degrees, the propeller is now far more optimized for that purpose. And Temo has also developed a very specific battery system. I'll show you that here. Specifically, a relatively lightweight portable battery. I can stack it however I want. So I can just take one or two of these batteries and stow them on board easily. Just click them right into place. And then we're good to go. Really a very, very simple and user-friendly system that's perfectly suited for sailboats. Here you can see the drive lever and the display in detail, both designed to be highly compact and perfectly optimized for sailboats. Here's another close-up of the motor and of course the fully interchangeable battery system as well. Here you can see a real innovation from the Italian company Botti. We've got a 1.3 kilowatt motor right here which actually weighs just six kilograms and features a highly unique motor design. You can already see very pointed, very flat, extremely low water resistance. And the battery is external, so you've got this little box on the side, which means you really end up carrying very little weight at all. But the same power as, for example, a Spirit Plus or a Torquedo Travel. 1.3 kilowatts and the battery is external, but can be a bit larger. You can also bring two batteries. And here at the front, you have the tiller, which folds out. Or if you have, say, a remote control, you can just remove the tiller. Just fold it up and the bracket ends up on the outside. Especially given the low weight, it's a really neat and practical solution overall. You can easily carry the motor 100 or 200 meters down to the boat without ending up with tired or sore arms at all. So really, really cool thing. In the video, you'll see a few more details about the motor and the battery, and especially how little water resistance the Bodhi motor actually creates while running. You can already see from the size here, we're at Evoa, that's the company, and they've got a 27 kilowatt motor. 
also well suited for lighter types of glide boats, naturally delivers outstanding performance. And you can see at METS everything's definitely bigger, faster, but also a bit more expensive, obviously. Now we've arrived at the Rad Propulsion booth, over here in the back you can still see the slightly older 40 kilowatt motor. And now here's a really beefy version with 120 kilowatts, obviously suited for larger boats, bigger planing hulls, types we don't really deal with all that much on a regular basis ourselves. And then, just over here, if we move a bit in this direction, there's also a small study of a slightly smaller motor. That could definitely be of interest to us further down the line. Looks like it's between 6 and 10 kilowatts. But right now there's still a question mark behind it. Let's see what it'll turn into in the future. One innovation follows another. E-propulsion and momentum are certainly the most interesting outboard motors for the year 2026. But there are some electric options available for larger and heavier boats as well. As you can clearly see, we're now here in Berlin at the Boot and Fun Show. And of course, we'll also be at the Boot Show in Dusseldorf in January. Feel free to come and visit us there. With that, all the best from your Johan 